Hey, Jet Ads, welcome back to Between Bells. Our next guest is an award-winning rocket scientist who helped launch 28 space missions throughout her 10-year career at NASA, proving herself to be a real-life hidden figure. Olympia Lapointe joins us now. Olympia, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so has the movie Hidden Figures brought a ton of exposure to women's roles in aerospace? What did you think about it as a female rocket scientist? It's great that you asked that question. Uh, I am a rocket scientist. I have launched uh, 28, uh, or helped launch 28 missions to space. And when I saw the movie Hidden Figures, I was extremely pleased that we had, for the first time, knowledge about individuals like myself who have launched great scientific discoveries into space and allowed space travel to become where it is today. And when I saw Hidden Figures, I was extremely pleased that we had uh, the stories of Katherine Johnson. We had uh, the, the award-winning, I, I will just say this right now, I'm gonna say it's gonna be an Oscar-winning uh, movie. Uh, it probably it was will. <laughs> yes, we'll say that. Uh, it was a, a great um, opportunity for us to be able to see how science, technology, engineering, and mathematics all plays into understanding how great it is not only in developing the technology in the United States, but developing technology across the world and it exposes individuals like myself. Uh, who are scientists who are building the bridge between the science, the technology, and the communication so people understand how valuable this knowledge is. So basically, you know, there's been a lot of feedback of people saying, oh, like Hidden Figures isn't based on a true story. What, what do you say to those people? Well, it's fascinating. Uh, I wrote an article for Huffington Post uh, actually uh, doing a movie review of Hidden Figures. And when I watched the movie, I was completely in shock because I, I saw my life on film. Mm. And when I saw uh, Katherine Johnson's real life story, I, I, my tears started coming down my face because I realized I went through the exact same thing as a rocket scientist. And I am out here uh, to not only show how science, technology, engineering, and mathematics is exciting and to promote uh, great uh, works of history like this, but also to take the science to the next level with my own work, with the work of other individuals, so we can uh, understand that this is a true life story. This is something that uh, is monumental in its development and that we each have the ability to change history through everything that we invent. Uh, just going through a lot of your history, it's so amazing. And thinking about the fact that you were hired at Boeing three months after graduating at the age of 21, you were the youngest scientist at your company at Boeing. You had this amazing, really interesting TED talk that I watched over the weekend about uh, overcoming fear and, and all that stuff. Was that kind of TED talk kind of created from being, you know, a young, you know, scientists working at Boeing and trying to apply those things to something so foreign and different back then? Uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's so fascinating, and thank you for watching the TED Talk. Of course. Uh, the TED Talk, Reprogramming Your Brain to Overcome Fear, uh, it was uh, developed, the producer of TED actually saw that I wrote the book Mathophobia, and it was one of my students that did a uh, review of the book Mathophobia and had it in the student newspaper, and the producer of TED saw this article and he was just completely in shock and he said, people need to hear your story. So the TED, the TED Talk, Reprogramming Brain to Overcome Fear, uh, is specifically my life story. I, uh, I went through poverty, experienced poverty. Uh, I went through such uh, gang violence in South Central Los Angeles in the 1980s. Uh, I struggled to go to school and uh, I actually paid my way to get my university degree doing odd jobs between math tutoring, uh, working as a student orientation uh, um, uh, leader and director, as well as doing part-time modeling. And I put all that, in, all that money aside for me to earn my degrees in uh, advanced mathematics. And so uh, I, I was so pleased to be able to share my story when I launched rockets and when I finally was in that road to be able to become a rocket scientist and I was finally hired as a rocket scientist and I was around all the other uh, uh, people who were launching rockets, uh, I, I began to experience fear again. And I question my own ability to launch and I question my own intelligence. And something inside of me had to click where I had to realize the power of my own 
uh, ability to change situations, not only with my intelligence, but with my ability to inspire other people to use their brain. And when I decided that my life was important and my life was uh, here to make a difference here on this earth, that's when that shift happened in myself. And that's when I was able to make a great change and become one of the uh, youngest engineers to have modern day technology leader award behind my name. And so I was really thankful for that. And uh, the, produ the TED producer saw all of my experiences like Katherine Johnson. He says, you need to get out here. You no longer have to be a hidden figure. And he was actually hmm. a millennial before, before the hidden movie figure even came out. And I'm really pleased and really thankful for him uh, and recruiting me for that. And my goal is not to be a, a hidden figure, but to uh, help people with my discoveries in mathematics from here on. So people will not be delayed 40 years of finding out about the science and technology, but be able to access it right now on how they can reshape their own brain. So Olympia, you are obviously an expert when it comes to rocket launching. So I have to ask you, what are your thoughts on private companies like Elon Musk, SpaceX, who are you know, leading these types of exploration and hoping to colonize Mars? Uh, I am so thankful. Uh, the One of my mentors who actually helped me get through difficult times as well as I was working as a rocket scientist, because if you look at me, I'm a woman of color. You, when you think of a rocket scientist, you do not look like, you do not think like, a, uh, you, well, I should say you do not think of a person who looks like me. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's fascinating because uh, I, I had the ability to uh, be inspired by people who are working for SpaceX, uh, who are working for Blue Origin, who are working for these individuals. And they came straight from where I was working to launch these great uh, companies and innovations. And I am very excited because the same technology that's used to be able to launch what we did at the Boeing company for NASA's Space Shuttle Main Engine Project, we are using uh, in these new companies. And I am in full support of of great technology, especially when it's thoroughly checked out, especially when there is reliability and system safety found and discovered in these vehicles to to prevent explosions and to keep uh, manned spaceflight in the future safe. Well, thank you so much, Olympia LePoint, for joining us today. Olympia, of course, rocket scientist and public speaker. We appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. It's my, my honor to be on your show.